Everywhere you look, this country is in chaos, is it not? Look at our southern border. That border is wide open. Every sovereign country in the history of the world has had a border that is enforceable, that says who belongs to the country, who believes in the country, who loves the country, and who does not. But our border is wide open, and what's happening? People are pouring across it. Just yesterday morning in the state of Missouri, Missouri Highway Patrol arrested five illegal migrants who had kidnapped a young girl from the state of Indiana taking her across state lines. It was 2 in the morning, 2.54 a.m., that a Missouri Highway Patrolman pulled over these five migrants and rescued that girl. And that is happening everywhere across this country. Yeah, thank them for that. They deserve our thanks. Drugs are pouring into my state, every school in my state. You can go and buy illegal drugs. Where are they coming from? Across the southern border. Stabbings, murders, Lake and Riley. It's all too common. It's all too typical. And it is all because of Joe Biden and the radical left agenda. And listen, you and I both know why the border's open. The border is wide open because they want to tear down America. They want to change this country. That's what they're trying to do. Boy, and that's just the beginning of it. You talk about chaos. You talk about a radical agenda. You talk about them coming for our heritage. Look what they are doing with the abuse of our legal system. We've got the best legal system, the proudest system of law and order in the world, in the history of the world. And now, what are they doing? Did you see the news yesterday from the state of Texas where the Department of Justice, our Department of Justice, funded with your taxpayer money, just indicted a Texas doctor who had the courage to stand up and say that a Texas so-called children's hospital was performing illegal gender sterilization surgeries. Did you see this? This brave whistleblower, he's a doctor, he found out that this hospital, in violation of state law, in violation of state law, was performing sterilization surgeries on children. He brought this information to the public. He brought the truth forward, and the Biden Justice Department doesn't reward him. They don't thank him. They don't honor him. They indict him. They're going to try to put him into jail. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you, if this is allowed to stand, the United States of America will not stand. This will be the end of our country. And I just say this. I would just say this to the Attorney General of the United States, Merrick Garland, to the FBI Director, Christopher Wray, Preserve all of your documents. Preserve all of your decision papers because what has happened to this man is going to happen to you. We are coming for you. We're going to hold hearings. We're going to put you under oath. We're going to find out who did this. And we're going to turn it around. I tell you what, Republicans are going to take back the Senate come this fall. And when we do, there's going to be accountability. We will not allow this abuse to go forward any longer. Not any longer. And I just want to tell you 